Hi, my name is Michael Irello. I'm the program director for Everyday Miracles, and I'm also the case manager for the uh, Diversion Adult Program for the Worcester Police Department and the DA's office. What we're doing today is that we have four graduates that completed the Diversion Program, um, and they are being celebrated for actually um, turning their lives around. It's our first graduation ceremony for our EOTS buyback grant and this couldn't come about with a lot of good people working on this. What happens here is when we get someone who's in a situation where they are about to get arrested for possession of heroin or possession of opioids, we give them an option. We give them an option of arrest or securing treatment, putting them in a secure treatment facility. It's spectrum. The way it works is that Michelle intervenes. We talk to Michael, who's a trained clinician, and we give them an opportunity to get into that recovery program where they be dealing with their problem, where they be dealing with their addiction. Because we know that this is a disease of the brain, not a moral failing or a character flaw. We allow them to go to AA, NA. We teach them job recovery skills, computer skills. And what this is, is the best way to beat this problem. Okay, I got into the program because, well, I was um, asked to come here and, and address my issues. I used to have a lot of uh, substance abuse issues and stuff. And I have been five or six years that I hadn't been able to get clean and stay clean. And since I came here, I've managed three, three months already of being clean and sober, which I couldn't have done in the last six years. They have helped me uh, with budgeting. They have helped me with counseling. They have helped me with housing, like everything. It's a great program. They listen to you. They go wherever you need them to go. And it's, it's just a great program. I can't say enough. Yeah, right now, I'm happy right now, you know? He's gonna actually continue the program even though he's done with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The police department is very proud of this program. We're proud of the support we received from the DA's office and from the Executive Office of Public Safety. It's the first of its kind in the state, and these people are the first ones to complete this pilot program, and we've see, already seen it go into other cities in the state. We hope to expand further and continue to help these people fight this battle and let them know they're not fighting it by themselves, that this community is behind them.